Hey, hello everyone, Bruno here. Today we are going to see very quickly how you can code and develop when you have the eShop semantic search solution to do keyword search, semantic search demo, literally in your machine or in code spaces. So what I am going to do, I am going to go to the repo. This is what you can do. You have everything here, including the steps. And for this demo, we are going to run code spaces. I want to create a new code space, and this usually takes some time. Okay, took a couple of minutes, but now the code space is created and we can see here that we have, let's close Copilot, but we have the solution, we have all of the content that we need here. Because this is a code space, what I am going to do, I am going to connect and I am going to connect to the code space directly in Visual Studio Code because it's easier to do some demos and more here. So I am going to open the GitHub code space connection, the remote explorer. I will see the code space here. I'm going to connect to the code space. Everything that I'm going to do here is literally what I can do in the browser. So let's start. We have the project, we have everything here. The first step, let's open a terminal. And because we are working in Aspire and we are in a code space, we need to do some clearing here. So let's go to the source folder. Let's do the eShop app host. This is the main solution that we have here, the main project that we have here in Aspire. And what I am going to do here, I am going to do a .NET build. This is going to take some time, but it's going to build all of the projects that we have here. Perfect. The projects are built, so this is amazing. And the next step that I need to do, and this is because this is uh, we are working in Linux, this is a container, we need to run this command that is part of the container, but we need to run it again to run this, to have this. So once I have this, I can run the code space. But this is the important part. We are running a code space. We are working here with Aspire. And Aspire, the main project of Aspire, is going to create some resources here. If we take a look at the project, we are going to see that it creates some GPT resources, a GPT 4.0 model, an ADA model. We also create a SQL server. So it's going to create some resources. It's also going to create an <coughs> application inside. So we need to define a connection. So Aspire knows how to do this. So we are going to open in the app host, the app settings, and we have here the, the section in Azure where we need to add these values. So we are going to give these two values, allow resource and credential resource as is, and we are going to update the configuration here for the subscription, the resource name, and the location. OK, I updated the values here. So before doing this, what we need to do is we need to authenticate to the Azure subscription. So when we run this from the terminal, it's going to know that we want to create those resources. And in order to do this, what we need to do is AC login. So let's do an AC login. This is the command that we need to do. And I am going to fast forward this because it's got some credential information. OK, I did my ACD login. So now I can go back here and I can run my solution. So once I did the ACD login, I have my configuration, my IPP setting configured with the Azure credentials. What I can do here, I can do a .NET run. And we are going to see here that one of the links has this structure where we have the login and then a token here to login. And because this, we are working with the redirects, we need to go, yes, go for the 101. And this is going to open the connection for the project. So we are going to see the Aspire dashboard. And this is the first time, though this time, we are going to see that it's going to deploy, that it's going to do the deployment in Azure for the resource names and more. OK, so it deployed App Insights, it deployed OpenAI. Now it's going to start the SQL Server. And once again, this takes some time just the first time because we are doing the deploy. And when it run, it creates the SQL instance so we can connect there. It's going to run the products and then the store. There it is. We have everything up, up and running here. If we go here and take a look at the 
information and more we can see an example in the logs here that we have a portal Azure. We can take a look and see where it's been deployed and more. But what we want to do here is we want to go to the store. Again, the first time we need to continue because this is localhost. We need to work like this. And I'm going to enable the structured traces to see what we have here and the main traces. And what we can do is we take a look at the list of the products here. They are up and running. If we go to the traces, we can see here that the front end called the back end, and we get the list of products from the SQL Server. And we get also the chance to do a search for outdoor. It's going to find this. But if we do a search for something for rainy days, it's not going to bring anything. But if we enable semantic search, this is going to bring the results. And by the way, the first time that we run this, it's going to take some time. It's going right now, it's indexing and created embeddings for all of the products. So if we go back to the traces, we are going to see how it takes some time to create all of the products. There it is. We can see here how it's analyzed and index all of the products. And we go here. We see that when we ask for something for rainy days, it suggests to get the jacket. So we have everything here. Everything is created. If you go to Azure, it's going to also create the Azure resource that you have here. And of course, as I said before, the second time that you run this, something to cook is going to be much faster because the products are already in the set there. So we ask for something to cook. It's give us a camping cookware. And if we go back to the traces, we can see here that the first time took 16 seconds, the first second time, not even close to a second. So hey, this is the way that you can do it locally in the code space. I hope it works. I hope it helps. And hey, at any time, you can also run this from here. And once again, the second, the next time is going to be much faster than the first one. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. I'm going to do more to explain this, this project if you want to do this. And hey, happy to help. Goodbye.